watch the real-life program about exceptional destinies, remarkable opportunities, and unbelievable facts right now. It seems that you can hear this voice from the depth of centuries, and in general, these sounds cannot be made by a person. In this song, you hear the noise of wind in the steppe the birds singing high in the sky, and the sounds of the water babbling in a mountain river. When Shaman is singing, all the natural elements yield to him. It happens even during a mere rehearsal before a concert. Shaman is a nickname of the famous singer and composer Yedul Kusainov. Life means adventures to me, and I consider them as something positive. Well, this is not complete. What does Shaman sing about? What should you do if music overwhelms you? What should be done in order not to overlook the signs of destiny? If you go down the stairs, there is a basement. He considers himself one of those famous people whose music was born in a basement. The sound is perfect down there and it doesn't disturb the neighbors. You can hear the bass guitar synthesizer and drums during the repetition. There isn't anything unusual in it. He has played for large crowds for more than 30 years, thanks to only the content of his small briefcase. Some people still find it unusual that they sound not only like traditional folk music, but also like rock music or in a symphony orchestra. I really enjoy doing it. Our nation has a rich history. I want the Kazakhs to be recognized as a nation of creating highly intellectual culture. He became acquainted with music before he was born. His mother, Braushan Nupisova, found Koba's school. His father, Sayl Khan, a Kazakh composer who wrote Merike, which is a famous kui. Their son absorbed everything his great parents could give him. However, Yedl's two children have not built their life around music. Nonetheless, Yedl thinks that every person pursues their own path. Your freedom is restricted by another person's space, which is why I try to be tactful and tolerant. He finished music school, college and graduated from conservatoire. However, these are not enough to become a successful and famous. I carry out my mission. Besides, I felt this mission since my childhood. I met people who went down in Kazakhstan's history of art. Ahmed Jubanov taught music to Yedl's talented parents. Probably he noticed something unusual about the three-year-old boy and wrote about it in his book written in 1959. It was the first sign of his destiny. The Kazakhs call it bata, which means parting words and giving good wishes. An old man gives them to you. However, there is a quotarian about me. Nature is the most important source of inspiration for him. Primeval images born thanks to the wild, calls of birds and surf sounds. The ocean of feelings follows them. 
Of course, people play an important part too. People are like books which you should open. I see the depth which is so great that I couldn't even imagine it. Then I simply thank God for allowing me to experience it. He does what he can't help doing. It is like breathing when you inhale and exhale. He became famous at the time of the Soviet Union when looking back he sees a different dimension including pioneers and communists belonging to the past. Although he was not against Lenin's appeal, he was following his own path. He always was loyal to music. I've never been big-headed. I've heard that some famous people are. I know that if people trust you, it means they really do, and I can continue with it. I have to prove that I'm worthy of their trust. It means that he has to work more, compose music, rehearse and perform on various stages. How music is composed still remains a mystery for me. I compose a lot of music. There is even a melody which does not end. People in the USA, Japan and the UK found out about his music 20 years earlier than it became known in Kazakhstan. He performed three times in Carnage Hall in New York. He performed in the John F. Kennedy Center, the Hall of the UNESCO in Paris, Royal Albert Hall and the Sunnetry Hall. He recorded solo albums at the famous Abbey Road Studios three times. Ancient Kazakh folk instruments sounded in a new way to the global level. The key to his success is the secret cone known to Yedl. He mixes what seems incompatible. It's a synthesis of ancient folklore and modern genres. He doesn't know Kazakh folklore, doesn't know Kazakh folk instruments, and doesn't know us. There is some code. The code can be, for example, rock music or jazz, but when we use these codes, we add something national to the content and then it becomes interested in our folk music. Then the characters of myths and legends excite your imagination. There is magic of high priests with their charms and spells. The musical instruments with their century-long history are the whole point. In ancient times, women played the Shan Kubiz while they were singing lullabies to their babies who were lying in the cradles. Sometimes they put on rings with small bells producing a beautiful sound on their fingers. This is another musical instrument called the Sibas Gay. Some people considered that it had magical powers that could chase away wild animals or mysterious creatures suddenly attacking herds. The Kazakh people believe that when the Sibas Gay was used for entertainment, it lost its powers. It was impossible to dismantle it, but I broke it. However, it was a blessing in disguise because it now fits into any bag. Hunters and warriors had to be able to play this instrument anyway. Yedl has got a lot of ancient instruments in his bag.
Sasser. The sasserna is a clay instrument. It was found when the evacuations of Vatra were carried out in the 11th to 12th century. In that period and a bit later, mainly shepherds and children plays this musical instrument. Even the sound which it produces seems peculiar. It is another sign of destiny for Yedel. His teacher, Kazakh folklorist Bolat Sarabayev, who founded the Museum of Folklore Instruments, gave it to him as a present. He collected these instruments and ancient traditions. I was his last pupil. He reorientated himself. Although he was absorbed in the music by Tchaikovsky, after graduation from the Conservatoire, he went to the East, not the West. It is a unique singing technique involving a peculiar articulation. During it, a singer sings in two or even three voices simultaneously. This ancient skill requires a lot of hard work. Overtone singing was equated with miners' work in Mongolia a few years ago. Overtone singers are eligible for early retirement in Russia. He learned this skill in the Altai and Mongolia. A fire burned and the tambourine sounded at night. Everything was real there. Shamans were real too and they could heal. Yedel is confident that a voice and music can perform miracles. Of course, music is my first priority. Many people say that there are other priorities too. Although I respect their opinion, I am what I am. This variant of overtoned singing is known as kume. The exact meaning of this word is unknown, but most often it is translated as larynx. When they tense up their chest and abdominal muscles, high pressure builds up artificially in the vocal cavity, and listeners are instantly taken to the period which was a hundred centuries ago. A good musician is a shaman. Why are they good? Why do they attract you, and why do you listen to them? They touch your heartstrings, which is magic. You should be careful with magic. The most important thing is to know when to stop. According to scientists, three-hour overtone singing without breaks undermines health. Due to the long breath holding and the amount of carbon dioxide increases in the blood and chest and abdominal muscles slacken. However, if you do not excess, it has the opposite effect. You feel a surge of energy and it improves in blood circulation and it builds up abdominal muscles. As for the listeners, besides being good for their health, it makes them happy. Well, people say sabir bol, which means be patient. Probably I am a bit impatient, and when I say it, I might express my impatience. I want to see more things which are positive. However, it doesn't mean that he wants to see them with his eyes, because they can deceive in the same way as the sense of smell and hearing. You can only trust your feelings. The music of soul will never deceive you. According to the algorithm of my life, the word need is a good word. Thank God the word need coincides with the enjoyment which my creative work and work with other people give me. This is what happiness really is. If you listen to music played by a happy person, you certainly become happier too.